Hey dudes, I'm Hyla and today on Hyla Cooking, I'm gonna show y'all how to make a homemade caramel corn. And this is gonna be really simple and there's no high fructose corn syrup or any junk like that. And it's just a great thing to have on hand during the holidays. It's a great little snack if you have unexpected guests or like if you realize the last minute you probably should have a Christmas present for somebody and you don't have one, you can just put some in a little cellophane bag, tie a bow on it and be like, blam, it's reindeer corn. popcorn for our caramel corn. I've got some popcorn kernels here in a large pot and I'm just going to put it on a high heat and let it start getting hot and we'll add about a tablespoon of oil. And you can not, you cannot, um, I don't want to tell you that you can't do anything, but I really recommend not using microwave popcorn and actually buying kernels and popping it yourself. The reason being that microwave popcorn is a little bit more fragile than fresh popcorn and also to me I think it's just too salty. And I think that once you try making popcorn yourself from actual kernels, you will have fun with it and you probably won't want to go back to the microwave stuff unless you like that. I don't know. I'm not judging. Anyway, so we've got our oil in there and then just want to start out, we're going to put like three kernels in the oil and put the lid on it. And then you just want to listen, listen closely for those to pop. As soon as the first one pops, we can go ahead and put in the rest of our kernels. This is just going to let us know when the oil's hot enough so that we can minimize our burning risk of the popcorn, burnt popcorn. So, shh, listen. Hear that? That was a pop. There's another one. Okay, put that in. I'm gonna turn the heat down to like a medium high. So I'm like a seven out of 10 on my stove and start giving it a little shake. You don't need to like shake it like crazy until it really starts going. It's happening. Things are happening in there. I think there's nothing more exciting than the sound of a whole bunch of popcorn popping inside a pot. When you hear it start to slow down like that, I'm going to turn the heat off and just let it sit here with the heat and give it some shakes. Okay, all the popping is done. So now I just pour it into a big bowl. If you don't have two big bowls, you can do what I'm doing and use a colander and a bowl. So this first step, this is very important, especially if you're going to be giving this as a gift. Well, I mean, even if you're not because you don't want to break a tooth on Christmas. That would suck because all the dentists are closed except for the fancy, expensive emergency ones. So we got our popcorn in here and you just want to start giving it a little shake. This is going to get all of the unpopped kernels and all of the only partially popped kernels kind of sunk to the bottom. Okay, and then just use your clean little mitts to scoop out little pieces at a time. And as you go, just kind of look and make sure you're not getting any unpopped kernels in there. It's totally worth the extra time to do this. Okay, so these little, little bits over here I'm gonna discard. Uh, and we'll just set this aside and now we can start working on our caramel sauce. I've got a stick of butter in my pot here. I'm gonna melt that along with some water. Stick of butter is four ounces for people who don't have sticks. And then some brown sugar and some white sugar. If you want more of a caramelly taste, you can use all brown sugar. I'm actually going to add some cocoa powder and cinnamon because I like this chocolate cinnamon thing and a little bit of salt in here too. You could add whatever kind of flavorings that you like. If you wanted to do like a pumpkin pie spice thing, or I was even thinking, I'm gonna add some nuts later, and I was even thinking that if you wanna use those like smoked almonds and then maybe add some chipotle powder to this um, cocoa cinnamon thing, that might be a really awesome like sweet, savory, spicy kind of combination. I think I might try that next time. So anyway, we're just gonna get this melted and then boil it for five minutes. And you wanna make sure you watch it because it will kind of bubble up and you don't want it to boil over. After your butter has melted, it'll pretty quickly start to bubble and boil and toil and treble. That was not the right order of words. So you just wanna keep stirring it. So we're just gonna cook it for about five minutes until it starts to thicken and I'll show you what that looks like. It'll get kind of syrupy. All right, about five minutes later, you'll start to get this sort of like sludgy, tarry looking stuff. It's, it looks really bubbly and it's, it's thick, see that? So we're gonna turn it off. Now we can add in our vanilla extract 
And the reason you add this at the end, I think it's just because the flavor holds up better than if you try to cook it. It'll bubble. This is very exciting. And then we're gonna add a little bit of baking soda. And this does the same thing in this recipe that it does in cookies and stuff. It just makes bubbles in there, to sort of make a lighter toffee in the end. So it makes little tiny bubbles so that when it cools, it's easier to bite into. Kind of like, um, like a Butterfinger bar where it's got little flaky layers like that. All right, this looks great. Now we're ready to toss it with our popcorn and nuts. And I've got here um, pecans and almonds, but you can use any nuts you like. We put our nuts in with our popcorn and then just pour our caramel sauce over. And start tossing it around. And be careful not to touch this with your hands because obviously it's really hot. And use a bigger bowl than I'm using. Okay, once your popcorn's pretty well coated, we can spread it out on a baking sheet. And I've got this just covered with some parchment paper. And just try to get it in a single layer if you can, not big giant clumps, hopefully. Okay, awesome. I'm just gonna put this in the oven. You want kind of a low oven, like 250, for about 30 minutes, and just give it a little toss with a spatula about you know every 10 minutes or so to make sure it's cooking evenly. And I'll see you back then. All right, 30 minutes later, and I've let this cool, and so we, you're left with these little dry, crisp, sweet little caramel corns. Mm, 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 mm. Man, I love popcorn. Popcorn has got to be one of my favorite snacks in the whole world. So I hope you try this recipe. hope you share it with your loved ones and maybe throw it in some little bags, make some cute little presents of it, stocking stuffers, whatever, hostess gifts, stuff like that. And I will see you guys in 2013. So have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Okay, bye guys. Love you.